There are misconceptions, myths, and rumors out there. Reality Check will investigate these myths and find out what is the real story. I'm Nick Noe. And I'm Mary Kay Niehoff, and this is Reality Check. The show where we take your myths and misconceptions and get to the heart of the truth. Today we're talking about flu vaccines. You know, Nick, I heard that if you get the flu shot, you can get sick. Have you heard that? I've heard that, as well as many other things about reasons why people just don't get the flu shot in the winter. Maybe we should go talk to some employees and see what they think. Let's check it out. We are talking about flu shots today, and I want to know, are you going to get a flu shot? I'm going to get a flu shot. Andrew, do you get a flu shot every year? Every year. So are you ladies going to get your vaccine? Yes. Yes, definitely. Yes, definitely. Do you get it every year? Mm-hmm. Yes. All right, Vernell, do you get a flu shot every year? Yes, I do. And why do you do that? I do that because I'm a diabetic. Well, Nancy, you probably get a flu shot every year. Absolutely. Carlos, you probably interact with a lot of different people. Do you get a flu shot every, every year? Every year. And I want to know if you guys get your flu vaccines every year or not. Yes. yes. You do? Yes. And why do you choose to get that? Because uh, we expose a lot of different people in places. We work at all the medical center and labs. I used not to uh, take the flu shot, but after working here, it's a good idea. And do you get your flu vaccine? No. And why don't you? I don't get the flu, so I don't get the vaccine. In the past, I haven't gotten flu shot. And do you get a flu shot every year? It's variable. Some years I get them, and some years I don't. What What about that? What makes you get them some years and not others? Well, I'm actually not convinced that they work. Do you get your flu shot? No, I've never had one. And why is that? Well, I've never had the flu. You know, I've always been a fairly healthy person. And I've also got some concerns about some of the side effects I've heard about with it. So I just prefer not to get one. Okay, so people, some people don't get flu shots. What are some of those reasons you think? I think there's a perception that uh, it's, it's no guarantee. Some people say it makes them feel sick. Yeah. But you haven't experienced that yourself? Uh, there's some people who say they don't work, and then other people say they get really ill from it. Oh, probably just that they never get around to it. You know, it's inconvenient to go somewhere to get one, et cetera, et cetera, and so they just never quite get around to it. Okay, well, I hope you uh, have a flu-free winter. So do I. We're here with Dr. Carrie Hall. Dr. Hall, what is your role here at the Medical Center? Uh, I am an infectious disease physician here at UVA, which means that I try to prevent infections among our staff and our patients. According to Employee Health last year, 42% of our employees got shots or the flu vaccine in Employee Health. Can you tell us why you think that maybe some of those other people didn't get flu vaccines? People think that they're healthy, and so they don't need to get the vaccine. Um, They think that maybe because they're healthy, they're less likely to get the flu, uh, and that's not true. Each year, more people who are healthy get the flu than people who, who are unhealthy. In the healthcare setting, if you work around patients, even if you get the flu and you're healthy and you'll be okay, if you spread the flu to a, to a patient, they might not be okay. What about the fact that it makes you sick? Is that, is that true? Uh, that, that is not true. Um, that's one of the most common myths surrounding the flu vaccine. Now, I've also heard some people say things like, well, if I start feeling sick, I won't come into work. What, what do you think about that? The flu is an interesting virus because you actually are infectious before you start having symptoms. So even when you feel fine, you can be spreading the flu to your family, to, your, to other healthcare workers, or to patients. Another, another myth I hear, and the reason why people don't get the shot, is that it just doesn't work. Is, it, is that true? That's not true. Uh, the flu vaccine is one of the most effective things you can do to protect your health. One of the myths I've heard is that if you don't get the flu vaccine at the beginning of the season, you might as well not get it. What do you think of that? Well, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, We start giving the flu vaccine in October uh, here at UVA, but most of the time the flu epidemics usually occur later in the season, around January and February, even late into March or April. Uh, And so it's important, even if you miss the first round of vaccines, to get it with the second round. Uh, You can stay protected for many months after you have the vaccine. Getting the flu vaccine is one of the most important things you can do to not do harm to your patients. Because, again, if you get the flu, as a healthcare provider, you can easily spread it to your patients, and they may not be able to tolerate it as well as you can. Okay, Nick, so today we've been talking about the flu vaccine and a lot of myths about why people don't get it, and of course, Dr. Hall debunked all of those. So are you ready to get your shot? I, I definitely am. And I think it's important for employees here to remember that part of their obligation is to keep your patients safe, and getting the vaccine goes a long way to doing that. So if employees want to get their flu vaccine, all they have to do is go to Knowledge Link and look at the schedule, and they can find out when and where. That's right. I'm Mary Kay Niehoff. I'm Nick Noe. And that's Reality Check.